everyone welcome back to ALG gardening in today's video let's see how to grow bitter gourds or bitter melons in containers bitter melons are not so favorite veggie for most of us even though it has great health benefits i don't like these due to their bitterness in this video i am going to show you how to grow the small variety of bitter melon this is the seed packet that i used i am sowing the seeds in this tub Bitter gourds can be grown all throughout the year here in Kerala. We have only mild winters, so these can also be grown in the winters here. After sowing the seeds, water thoroughly. A good moisture level has to be maintained for the proper germination of the seeds. I am labeling them as I am sowing other seeds also in this tub. After 20 days in sowing, I am transplanting the seedling. I'm transplanting the seedling into an HDPE grow bag. The potting mix that I used is a mix of garden soil, cocoa peat, vermicompost, vermiculite, perlite, neem cake powder, groundnut cake powder and bone meal. The link for the video on how to make this potting mix will be provided in the description box. Make a hole in the center and place the seedling. Firm the soil around it and water thoroughly. After 35 days in sowing, the plant has now climbed onto the trellis and is looking healthy. After 49 days in sowing, the plant has now grown prolifically and has new side branches spreading in all directions. After 52 days in sowing, I sow the first flower. Like all the gourds and melons, male flowers are formed first and the female flowers will be found later. For successful fruit formation, you can hand pollinate your female flowers. These are the first set of fruits that have been formed. You can see a fruit forming in each node. This is the update after 60 days. After 66 days, I made the first harvest. Only these two were ready for harvest. The others were just developing. This is the second harvest. I got many bitter melons. This is just a single plant and it has spread to all the sides of the trellis and is now producing prolifically. Bitter gourds are a rich source of vitamin C, vitamin A, folate, zinc, iron, magnesium, calcium and potassium. It is low in calories and high in fiber. It also contains numerous antioxidants that protect us from many diseases caused by oxidative damage. These are very easy to grow, so try growing these in your home garden. Some of them had an elongated shape and some were round, even though they were from the same plant. If you do not harvest these in time, they turn yellow like this. So try harvesting them in time. These are usually hybrid seeds, so even if they are ripe, I don't save seeds from these. After the harvest, you can see many more fruits forming. You would be able to harvest bitter melons at an interval of 4-5 to five days. Coming to fertilizing your plants, I just added a mix of vermicompost, neem cake powder and groundnut cake powder at an interval of every 20 days. You can also add a liquid fertilizer like compost tea, organic slurry, fish amino acid, seaweed extract, etc. For more flowering and fruit formation, you can provide them with banana peel liquid fertilizer, which is rich in potassium. While growing these, I did not encounter any disease issues, but had pest issue. This is the ladybug larva on my plant. The larvae had chewed upon most of the leaves. As a solution, I handpicked them and killed them and sprayed the leaves with neem oil emulsion. So this was the video on how to grow bitter melons or bitter gourds. 
I hope you like the video. You can also grow these in your home garden. You can buy the seeds of this variety online. I'll provide the buying links in the description box below. See you all soon in yet another video. Don't forget to like, share and comment. And subscribe if not already a subscriber. Bye. Happy gardening.